the General Electric logo at the New York Stock Exchange. GE said it would take a $6.2 billion charge related to its GE Capital unit, which is being wound down as the company focuses on its industrial roots. Richard Drew, Associated Press General Electric said on Tuesday that it would take a $6.2 million charge in the fourth quarter after conducting a review of its GE Capital Unit's legacy insurance portfolio, which the industrial conglomerate is in the process of winding down. GE Capital also plans to make contributions of about $15 billion over seven years to shore up its insurance reserves, primarily to cover the higher-than-expected cost of long-term care policies written by other insurers and reinsured by GE Capital's North American Life and Health Insurance Unit. GE has jettisoned much of its once-huge finance unit in recent years as it sharpens its focus on its industrial roots. John Flannery, who succeeded Jeffrey R. Immelt as chief executive in August, has said he will make the company smaller by reducing the number of businesses it is in. His plans include shrinking GE Capital to focus on providing financing for GE's industrial products, at a time when we are moving forward as a company, a charge of this magnitude from a legacy insurance portfolio in runoff for more than a decade is deeply disappointing, Mr. Flannery said in a news release. GE said last year that it was conducting a review of the reserves for its legacy insurance portfolios. The company said the Kansas Insurance Department, the insurance business primary regulator, had approved a phasing in of contributions to the reserves. GE Capital is expected to make a $3 billion contribution in the first quarter of 2018, followed by contributions of $2 billion a year from 2019 to 2024, GE said. The company said that GE Capital would suspend dividend payments to its parent for the foreseeable future. Shares of GE declined 1.4% in pre-market trading on Tuesday after the announcement. Follow Chad Bray on Twitter, at Chad Bray.